Okay, so Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar. We're out here in a, uh, where are we at, in Jackson County. And um, came down here to chase down a ground fault in an outback. This is like an off-grid, outback radian with three charge controllers. We'll show you the solar array in a second. Thought the ground fault was going to be in the PV array wiring because you know how they used to do it. Everybody would be just using zip ties and twisties and whatever they could to get the wire up. But uh, was doing some really weird stuff. Uh, we'd turn it on and we'd see, we turn on one combi there's three combiner boxes on the array, on each, so each array, the array is 36 panels and it's supposed to be broken up into three straight, or three groups of 12. And so um, panels are stringed in threes. There was supposed to be, you know, 12 panels, three strings of, four strings of three on each charge controller. But when we would turn on one combiner, we would see this controller and this controller make voltage it have PV input voltage which it was like they were fighting each other to use the same solar array um, so then we opened up got a lot of boxes here thought maybe it was in this wasn't and then we had something that was a little telling so that is where we found our crown fault and it is uh we were the ground fault was happening. Some scary stuff was going on because the the hots, the, the negatives and the positives were basically arcing right to each other. But the other thing that was going on was those those wire nuts. You can see where the ones that's completely gone and the other one that was kind of burnt. They were welded to each other, and they were arcing on the box. And the box was where the ground fault was taking place. Now, what's weird about all this is that you've got a metal box and three, four places where PVC conduits going in, and you've got one place where the um, you got two spots where metal conduits going in, and the box is bonded to ground. But if that box had not been bonded to the ground, with that bond, see that little bond lug right there in the back of the box, then it wouldn't have probably wouldn't have had a ground fault. So that they used a PVC box or something. Who knows what would have happened. But anyway, the GFDI in the outback stopped it from burning, burning down. So Gain Solar calls if you need a repair. We like to come out here and troubleshoot stuff and figure this kind of thing out. I didn't know you were looking at me. Okay, out here at the same array in Jackson County where we were troubleshooting ground vaults. I just want to sit here and talk for a second about uh, array wiring and best practices. Take a look at all this. See how we've got zip ties, we got wires going everywhere, we got wires dangling. Um, up until a few years ago, they hadn't really come out with a lot of the wiring products that we use for wiring TV arrays. So now we have stuff like this. These are really nice. That's what we use to wire these things with. And, dress wire so we just did a little rewire right here some other types of clips we use and a lot better than zip ties so we, we, we did this little part and um, that can always contribute to ground faults so your solar array may be installed the last 25 years but it might only be wired the last five so if you're having problems or you don't like the way it looks in the back we can clean it up